How do sprouts help wildlife? What sort of questions that? Well, stick with us and you'll find out exactly how sprouts can help some very important visitors to our garden. Let's have a look, shall we? Along the eastern side of the Naturally Curious UK garden, we have various tubs and three raised beds in which we grow a small selection of fruit and veg. One of the crops being flower sprouts, which are part of the brassica family and are sort of a cross between sprouts and kale. I love them, but then I love all the brassicas. As well as eating the sprouts themselves, we also blitz the main leaves to use in stews and the like. Very high in antioxidants, good for your eyes among other things. This year, after they'd finished cropping, we didn't get around to pulling them up. And when I saw that they were going into bloom, I thought I'd leave them be for a while and see what transpired. And I'm glad I did, because it seems the vibrant bright yellow flowers are veritable bee magnets. The bees seem to love the flowers as much as I love the sprouts. The main species visiting the flower sprout blooms appears to be one which I've only learnt to recognise this year. It luxuriates in the delightful common name of the hairy-footed flower bee. There are species which exhibits sexual dimorphism. In other words, the males and females look different. The females are almost totally black, whereas the slightly smaller males appear quite grey and fuzzy. At least they do to me. I first recognised the males visiting the blossom of our little cherry tree about three weeks earlier when I was filming bee flies. As well as the hairy footed flower bees, I've also seen one or two bumblebees and hoverflies visiting the bright yellow flowers too. So it turns out the question, how do sprouts help wildlife, was a perfectly reasonable question to ask. I hope you enjoyed that and learnt something. I've certainly learnt something over the past couple of weeks, watching how the bees really love the flowers on the uh, flower sprout plants. And yeah, so great. So uh, anyway, thanks for joining me today on Naturally Curious UK. You stay safe, stay sane, Stay curious and keep enjoying the wonders of nature where you are.